Eigenvalues play an important role in linear algebra. Today you are going to see some special matrices and the eigenvalues associated with these matrices. First consider the shown matrix A. This matrix is the standard matrix of the linear transformation that rotates a vector over 30 degrees counterclockwise. Do you think there is a real vector x and a real number lambda such that a times x equals lambda times x? If you think about what this means, you see that you want a vector x such that a times x gives back a multiple of x. A multiple of x always lies in the span of x, but in our example, a times a non-zero vector x can lie in the span of x because the angle between x and a times x is equal to 30 degrees. So you have no option but to conclude that a has no real eigenvalues and eigenvectors. If a does not have any real eigenvalues, does it maybe have complex eigenvalues and eigenvectors? Now let us go back to what an eigenvalue of a matrix A should be. An eigenvalue of an n by n matrix A is a scalar lambda such that the equation a times x equals lambda times x has a non-trivial solution. You can reformulate this to an eigenvalue lambda of an n by n matrix A is a solution to the characteristic equation of A. So if you include all complex solutions of this equation, A can have complex eigenvalues. If you go back to the rotation matrix A, the characteristic equation becomes the equation shown here. This equation has exactly two complex solutions, namely the square root root of 3 over 2 plus or minus i over 2. So this means A has two complex eigenvalues, lambda 1 and lambda 2. Do these eigenvalues have corresponding eigenvectors? The definition of the eigenvalue states that this should be the case. But can you find them? And are they real vectors? You already have seen that A has no real eigenvectors. So A must have complex eigenvectors. At this point, we need to define a new set of vectors, Cn, which are all vectors with n components, where each component is a complex number. The set Cn of complex vectors is an extension of the set Rn of real vectors. Each vector z in Cn can be written as x plus i times y, where x and y are vectors in Rn. In Cn we have the same rules and algebraic properties as in Rn. Now you are ready to calculate the eigenvectors for the first eigenvalue lambda 1 of A. First write down the augmented matrix for the equation a minus lambda 1 times i n equals 0. Because we know that lambda 1 is an eigenvalue, you must have a column without a pivot in a reduced echelon form. So you can safely say that the first and second row of the augmented matrix represents the same solution set and we can set the second row to 0. Division by i over 2 gives the reduced row echelon form. All eigenvectors of A corresponding to lambda 1 must be a non-zero multiple of the complex vector minus i1. In a similar way, you can calculate that the eigenspace for lambda 2 are all multiples of the complex vector i1. Now let us try to find all possibly complex eigenvalues of the matrix B. The characteristic equation gives the two complex eigenvalues lambda 1 and lambda 2. So again you have found complex eigenvalues. To understand what complex eigenvalues represent, let us repeatedly multiply b with a vector. Let us start with the blue vector x given by 1, 0. b times x0 gives the green vector x1. If you multiply b and x1, you get the orange vector x2. For clarity, we now only draw the heads of the new vectors. If we repeat the multiplication by b 20 more times, you get the shown picture. You can see this is a spiral going away from the origin. Apparently, multiplication of a vector by b rotates and scales the vector. Could you have seen this from the shape of b? If we compare the length of x0 and x1, we see that x1 is a factor 21 over 20 longer than x0. The same holds for x2 compared to x1. So apparently b scales vectors at least with a factor 21 over 20, 
which is a linear operation with the shown matrix S. You can show that B equals S times R with R as shown. But this matrix is the matrix for rotation over 30 degrees counterclockwise. So indeed, B is a composition of a scaling and a rotation. Would this conclusion hold in general for 2x2 two two matrices with complex eigenvalues? Let's consider another example. Have a look at this matrix C. This matrix has eigenvalues 4 over 5 plus or minus 3 over 5 times i. If you start again with the vector 1, 0 and repeatedly multiply by C, you see this special pattern emerging. The ellipse emerging from repeated multiplication of a vector by C is similar to a circle. Could this mean that C is related somehow to a pure rotation matrix? As it turns out, this is true. You can show that C is similar to a rotation matrix, where the rotation occurs in a different coordinate system. In class, you will learn more on complex eigenvalues and eigenvectors. You will also discover the relation between similarity and coordinate transformations.